press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello my dear students. We have been discussing about the chapter getting to know plants. And we have studied in the previous class about different types of plants. Plants can be broadly classified into different varieties where some of them are flowering in nature. Those plants which bear flowers are called as flowering plants. And those plants which do not bear any kinds of flower are called as non-flowering plants. See, flowering and non-flowering plants. See, this is how plants can be divided into flowering as well as the non-flowering plants. And the plants are living entities and which is very important for us. Plant gives oxygen which is very important for the living organisms, not only human beings, birds and also different types of animals. Beside these living creatures, some of them are not seen through our naked eyes. It can be seen only through the microscope. Under the microscope, we can see such a living organisms are called as microorganisms. See, microorganisms also require or also need oxygen, which are helpful to grow these such organisms. And, uh, and the plants can be divided, a plant can be divided into two parts, one is the root system and another one is the shoot system. Based on the shoot system, plants can be categorized into different types on the basis of height of the shoot. Based on the height of the shoot, plants can be divided into different types in which first one is the herb, shrub and the trees. Herbs are the small trees and having the tender and these have, these do not have any kinds of branches and these are called as herb. Example of the Herb are coriander and small plants which is having the tender. And next one is the shrubs. Shrubs are those plants which have a, which are having the branches. And uh, these branches will helpful to look like a bush in appearance. And uh, shrubs, example for the shrubs are hibiscus, rose. These are example of the shrubs. Next one is the trees. Trees based on the stem or the shoot system the plants can be categorized into three types in which last one is the trees. Trees are a large woody stem having and this one nothing but the trunk. The woody stem we call it as a trunk. See like that on the basis of shoot system plants can be categorized into three parts herb, shrubs and the trees. Example for the trees are Mango tree, coconut tree, these are some example of a trees. See, this is how shoot system can be divided into three parts. See, in what textbook, there is one activity is there. One table is given for you. You have to fill up this table. I will read the table. Next, few examples I will give. You write down in your textbook. See, categorization of the plant. As I told you, plants can be categorized on the basis of the height of the shoot. Nothing but height of the stem. See, in which plant's name is given in the first column. Tomato plants, mango plants and the lemon. These three plants, they have filled in the box. And in column first, height they have given. And uh, these height can be compared to your height and write down. And in column 2, stem will be given. Either it is a green in color or tender 
thick or hard based on the plant you have to choose which one having the stem and in column 3 the branches appear at the base of the stem or on the upper part of the stem you have to choose and in color column 4 category of the plants they have given in which first one i have to read tomato plant it is shorter it is shorter and it is green in color and tender tender is nothing but easy to cut we call it as a tender and very sensitive in nature we so that we can easily cut by molding it or by taking the uh, knife we can cut it and uh, here you have to put yes and yes it is al already given and uh, in the category of the plants it is a herb see like that we can divide the categories of the plants on the basis of shoot system next one is mango mango is a much taller tree plant it is a and it is a thick in nature stem will be thick in nature and that's why we call it as a trunk and here hard and also the hard and next one is the higher up on the stem branches will be appear and uh, in the category of the plant it is a tree next one is the lemon lemon is a slightly taller plant and uh, here the branch or uh, sorry the stem will be hard in nature and at the base of the stem the leaves will be appear and category of the plant it is a shrub and next to three columns given for you you have to fill up by looking at the plants whether it is herb shrubs or the trees i will read in which first one is the coconut coconut is a tallest plant and uh, it is uh, the stem will be thick in nature and it is hard and higher on the stem branches will be appear next category of the plant as uh, these characters shows that it is a tree and next one is the rice rice is a shorter plant and uh, it is green in color and the leaves will tender and uh, by looking at these character we can see that it is a herb and next one is the hibiscus plant see hibiscus plant is a slightly taller and next uh, it is hard and at the base of the stem the leaves will be appear and the branches will be appear and the category of the plant it is a shrub See this table gives us the information about the different types of plants based on the stem. Based on the stem and the shoot system, these plants can be categorized into herbs, shrubs as well as the trees. Sin. Next we shall move on to the leaf. leaf varieties of leaf present in the different kinds of plants some of the leaves are green in color whereas some are yellow and pale green or the uh, brownish color will be present these are different kinds of leaf and these leaf are the also called as kitchen factory of the plant see why it is called as kitchen factory of the plant because food is prepared in the plant in which leaf will prepare the food see leaf is called as kitchen factory of the plant because food is prepared here and uh, there are in the leaf there are different parts will be there at the tip position we call it as a apex and the broader and as well as the green part in a leaf is called as lamina see for example this is the plant sorry this is the leaf and this position we this portion we call it as a apex and here is the lamina and uh, this one is the midrib 
and uh, this portion is called as petiole and these are the veins see this is the plant diagram sorry this is the leaf structure and different parts of the leaf this uh, see the lamina is a broader green part we call it as a lamina at the tip po point we call it as a apex and there is a line swell comes out which is stretches to the midrib and uh, over the leaf parts it will circulate and this we call it as a veins and uh, in the middle part of the leaf there is a thick rib like structure will be there and that one we call it as a midrib and uh, the last position it is the stalk of a leaf where it is attached to the stem is called as petiole see this is how leaf will be divided into different parts see as i told you leaf is also called as kitchen factory of the plant photosynthesis will be takes place in the leaf photosynthesis is nothing but the food preparing process the functions of the leaf in which the photosynthesis is very important and this photosynthesis is a food preparing process which has takes place in the leaf see carbon dioxide and water these are the simple substance which are utilized by the plant nothing but the leaf and here sunlight in the presence of sunlight as well as the chlorophyll pigment chlorophyll pigment plants will prepare i will write here starch nothing but the food and the oxygen see this is the definition of the photosynthesis see if it is nothing but the food preparing process which is takes place in the leaf that's why leaf is called as kitchen factory of the plant see by using the simple substance like carbon dioxide as well as the water plants will absorb that is through the root it will absorb the water and from the leaf it will absorb the carbon dioxide in leaf there is a small opening will be present see you can see this opening by holding the leaf against the sunlight or any source of light you can see a dotted structure which is present in the leaf and these nothing but the stomata through this stomata exchange of various types of gases will be takes place that is the oxygen also exchange and carbon dioxide will be exchange here see by using the simple substance like carbon dioxide see this carbon dioxide is present in the atmosphere various types of gas are present in the atmosphere like carbon dioxide helium argon and oxygen there is a varieties of gases will be present and these plants will absorb the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere by using the water through the roots it will absorb the water and uh, in the presence of sunlight sunlight acts as the ultimate source of energy it will provide the energy to the plant and the chlorophyll is nothing but the green color pigment pigment is nothing but the color chlorophyll a type of a color which is green in color and it is usually present in the plants by taking the simple substance plants will produce the starch nothing but the food and oxygen is again released to the atmosphere see this is how photosynthesis takes place in the plants see there is one activity is there to illustrate about the plants or the leaf which contains the starch this activity name is the to show that leaf produce starch this is the name of the activity see in this activity we have to take 
a stand and the burner which is having the flame and uh, a test tube and the leaf and uh, water which is having the beaker which is having the water see these are all the different types of materials it required to make the to show that plants or the leaf will produce the starch see in this activity first we take the beaker in which we have to add half of the uh, beaker having the water and uh, first we take the test tube in which we have to add uh, we have to put the leaf and uh, next uh, in this uh, test tube we have to pour spirit or the alcohol so that it will cover the leaf like that we have to add and uh, put this uh, test tube in the beaker which contains the half of the half of the water half of the beaker it con which contains the water and uh, heat the beaker till the color of the leaf will comes out in the test tube and afterwards we take the leaf and wash it in a clean water and put in a container or in a plate and afterwards we can add a few drops of iodine solution to it see if we add the iodine solution to the leaf then the leaf color will becomes the blue black color indicates the presence of starch in the given leaf see this is how we can say that it shows that the uh, the leaf or the different parts of the leaf will having the starch see this uh, as i told you in the chapter second about the uh, iodine test and uh, by taking the food items see this is how we can say that uh, starch is present in the plants especially in the leaf starch will be present see this is how the plants having the starch by the process of photosynthesis starch will be produced by the leaf next we shall move on to the another activity another activity is the to show the transpiration in plant see this is the name of the activity before going to the activity let us know about the transpiration as i told in the previous class see transpiration transpiration is nothing but water comes out of the leaf in the form of vapor see 
transpiration is nothing but the water comes out of the leaf in the form of vapor water vapor is called as transpiration see usually we are sweating during the hot condition or during the summer season we sweat more more and more and this uh, sweat uh, which helpful to our body to become the cool and in the same manner plants also gives out or uh, come in plants also the water comes out in the form of a vapor water vapor it will comes out so that the plants will become the cool in nature and uh, this is how we can say that uh, transpiration will be takes place in the plants and uh, one activity is there to show the transpiration in the plants first we take the potted plant or any healthy plant we take see here is a pot in which a healthy plant will be there see transpiration process will be takes place during the summer season it is very effective and uh, here is a potted plant which is having the healthy plant will be there and uh, in this plant we have to take polythene bag polythene bag is nothing but the plastic one and uh, see we have to tie around the bag around the stem stem which bears the leaf we have to tie tie it and after few hours we can say see that we can observe that there is a inner surface of the plastic or the polythene bag which is having the droplets and this is this droplets is nothing but the water droplets which comes out from the leaf and uh, we can say that this experiment shows that transpiration process will be takes place in the plants water droplets see transpiration is nothing but the water comes out of the leaf in the form of a vapor is called as transpiration and this transpiration process will be takes place in the plants during the summer season or any hot condition the transpiration will be takes place in the plants so that the plants will become cool in always in every condition same uh, in this process see this is the activity to show transpiration in the plant see first we take the plant potted plant where the leaf position and the stem stem we have to take and cover the leaf with the polythene bag and afterwards few hours after you can see the inner surface of the polythene bag having the droplets and these droplets is nothing but the water droplets it will comes from the leaf only and this experiment shows that transpiration takes place in the plants this is how we can say that the process of transpiration next we shall move on to the different types of as i told you there is a this is all about the transpiration process and from today's class we will learn about the leaf as well as the height of the plants and uh, three activities we also learned um, based on the 
photosynthesis process in which us leaf will prepare the food nothing but the starch in which uh, we studied about the test nothing but the starch test we uh, the, uh, we conduct or we discussed here and one more uh, activity where uh, transpiration process will be takes place in the plants we discussed here and uh, where uh, transpiration is nothing but water comes out of the leaf in the form of a vapor is called as transpiration see this transpiration usually takes place in the summer days where the hot condition will be there and that time the leaf will uh, in the leaf the water will emerges out or comes out from the leaf so that the plants will become cool in a situ in that situation and here there is one activity is there to show about the transpiration taking place in the plants where the inner surface of the plastic or polythene cover which is having the droplets and this uh, droplets is nothing but the water droplets during the process of transpiration and uh, like that condensation also here done where water vapors is converted into liquid form see here water vapors it will emerges out from the leaf and uh, comes in contact with the plastic then this water droplets will form into a liquid form and this is how we can say that the transpiration process will be taking place in the plants see this is all about the leaf and different types of herbs or uh, different types of uh, plants based on the categorization of the shoot height of the shoot see here i wind up the class in the tomorrow's class we will learn about some more concept thank you